What's up, boys of Jigoku? So I believe it is finally time for you guys to know a bit more about the community name. There is a backstory to it that I never actually ended up mentioning or anything like that. So I want to start briefly. I, this is going to be the backstory of it and why it is called Jigoku and all that. No, it is not to be edgy because for those of you who do know, or no, for those of you who don't know, Jigoku is pretty much hell in Japanese. That is what Jigoku is. It's not, but this name is not meant to be anything edgy. It's not meant to do anything like that. No, I didn't want to do it to have like an edgy community or anything like that. No, this is actually something I put thought into because I have like really other names that would probably fit it maybe a little bit better. But I honestly did this for, for one. I put it on a poll for like what the community name should be. And you guys ended up picking Jigoku Army. Majority of you picked Jigoku Army. It was actually a pretty close tie between the Choa, which is led by Light, and then Jigoku, which is led by this girl you're looking at right now, Kuno. Uh, so I've already done a backstory with Kuno, and I'll put it at the end annotation, of course, so you guys can check out that backstory of her and everything. I actually really recommend that you guys check it out. It's actually pretty cool. I put some time into that, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty happy about it. But... Jigoku itself is not just something that I did to make her seem edgy. She's... No, I didn't... That was not the intention. This is actually something with her mindset. This was... And it's gonna... It's gonna be a lot more in detail when I actually read the script of what I'm about to tell you guys. Jigoku is not just the name of her army. It's also the name of the country that she named herself when she became Empress of the Land. It had two different names beforehand, but... We're going to mention how it got up to... So I'm going to mention... Of course, Wait, so... <clears throat> so it... We will mention the other two names in a little bit of that. But it's pretty much just to know, to let you guys know how it went from what it was then into why it is named Jigoku now. So, with that being said, I'm not even kidding you not. I shit you not. Six takes of this. Six whole takes of this because I can't speak. <sighs> Let's get into the backstory, why don't we, huh? The land known as Tongyi, the beautiful, thriving country that Kuno lived in as well as the country that her parents ruled over. They lived in peace and had a strong sense of honor and most importantly, unity. Hence the country being called Tongyi. Yes, Tongyi is unity in Chinese. This is the second time that the country was named differently under the different emperors' command. Before Kuno's father renamed the country to Tongyi, it was originally called Kongqi for control. However, Kuno's father wanted it to be known as a country of peace and unity, so he renamed it into Tongyi. That name was unfortunately short-lived when Kuno's parents were both killed by her greedy, power-hungry uncle, which you can know more about in Kuno's backstory, which I said, I'll put in the annotation. When Kuno came back, a changed woman with her persona of some would say a devilish demon, she would kill her uncle and would take it upon herself to be the new Empress of Tongyi. Although the people were very relieved to know of the death of Kuno's uncle because he was a dick, no one liked him. It didn't sit well with them that a young 18-year-old girl would have the gall to name herself the new Empress, regardless of her mother and father being the Emperor and Empress. Rulers and warlords from different provinces rose up. Some rose up in order to attempt to preserve the land and its unity in the name of Kuno's father, Others rose to re-image the country in their own design. Kuno, however, with her new heartless and sadistic persona, with all the warlords and rulers rising up and bringing this land into a war once again, she merely saw this country as a playground. A playground where she could have enjoyment with putting all those who opposed her rule to death and suffer. Kuno, in two mere short years, would win the war in crushing and dominating fashion. Now with this playground now finally being her own, she would, respectfully so, in honor of her father, denounce the name of the country, Tongyi, and rename it in the way she saw this land during the war. Kuno, now guaranteed her place as empress, has now named her country, her playground, as the land known as Jigoku. Alright, so actually I instead decided to just put actual... I decided to just actually just casually play the game right now, so that's actually what we're going to be doing now. So I don't know why I just decided to maybe do that, but I wanted to really give a backstory, and I actually haven't played as Kuno in a bit, so I actually wanted to pay attention while doing this. But uh, I just, I have, I had a backstory for it, but I kind of gave off the community name before I gave the backstory, but 
I feel like, you know, they always say, uh, better late than never. And I wanted to eventually give, like, the backstory to this. This is actually, honestly, the only, her country is the only one that I've actually given time to, like, give a backstory to so far. So obviously, they I have, like, the rulers and everything of each country and everything, but I haven't actually, like, oh my goodness, that lag right there. Please stop. But I haven't actually, like, she, like, hers is literally the only one. I didn't give one for White's country or anything like that. Hers is the only one I gave this much time to. So I was honestly, when I saw people were actually did pick Jigoku as, like, the community one, Mostly also due to the fact that maybe it helped because she had her own series on this channel already with Kuno's Ambition. But honestly, it was it made me even better, happier for that because now I could uh, also introduce why it's called Jigoku and everything so you guys just wouldn't think I'm just some edgy jackass. So <laughs> I'm actually really glad that I was able to give off the backstory and everything. It gave me so much more motivation to do it and all that. So I'm really, I'm really happy with that. And horse, you don't get your ass over here. So yeah, I'm actually, she actually does have her own horse and everything, but I decided, uh, but I actually forgot that. I wish you could pick the custom horse uh, in this, in like the preparations menu. You can only use the one that you favored it and stuff. So that was a little unfortunate, but it's whatever. Oh yeah, I also just noticed that's not on. There we go. But yeah, this, uh, I was honestly really, really, I mean, it's, I know it was pretty, a pretty short one and I could, and honestly, I could go into it further with like the war and everything like that, but I just wanted to give off why it's called what it is and why you, and if you want to know like, well, if, or if like Kuno's dad and everything is like the way he is and she's the way she is, like, why is she that way? You can look at her backstory at the end of annotation. All right, do it. Look at the end annotation, damn you. And then, uh, yeah, I'll have Kuno's backstory there as well because she wasn't always this way. She wasn't. So I really do recommend that you guys give it a shot because that'll also bring in depth to her personality and why she decided to call it what it is and why she has the persona of, that she has. So I highly recommend that you all give it a look and see, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys won't be disappointed. Of course, I did leave some mystery in her backstory and everything as well. So, obviously, I wanted to uh, leave a little bit of, like, this mystery in her to keep you guys interested and everything. So, how she turned into the way she is, that I will that I will leave a mystery. But her mindset and everything, of how she gets her mindset is what really matters here. So, like, how she goes from, like, what she was before being the Empress is pretty cool to me. She's one of the very she's one of the characters that I put a lot of time into when I made her. I was like, you know what? She was she was honestly my biggest motivation to start like make, writing up a story. All right. All right, Pikeman. All right, Pikeman. Okay, Pikeman. I get it. Oh, well, I got the spearman instead. Generic looking ass. Yeah, I didn't want to just leave you guys with, like, even though I wouldn't really have minded it myself, I kind of just wanted to make sure, at least give you guys, like, action in the videos. So that's what I'm doing. Besides, I, like I said earlier on, I wanted to play as Kuno anyway, so. I thought, why not? You know? Uh-oh, that's Musso. Because if I thought about it, I was looking at the back I was like, this is going to take, like, probably at most, like, two minutes. So it wouldn't have been a long video. I gave my introduction and everything like that, so it wouldn't have been much of a uh, video. It would have been like two seconds. Oh, I got him! Yeah! But yeah, I, I did it so we all had about the same amount of like troop strength and everything, so I didn't want this to be like obnoxiously long of a video, so. It's a little bit of action here. So uh, introduction there. Backstory there, some action at the end. I think that's pretty good. I was gonna do this in my discussion 
area in my in the studio discussion uh, setup that I have, but I was like, nah. So uh, let's get you out. Ow! 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 Ah! And yep, the face is mine. Okay, good miss. Went right at him, and I somehow still managed to miss that. That's incredible. Takes only my kind of skill to miss a soldier that's right in front of me, literally touching each other. It still didn't get hurt. Crazy. And I know I also said that uh, Kuru is probably my hands down most beautiful. But I don't know. Taking like more and more glances at Kuno. You know, it's pretty damn, damn beautiful. Uh oh. Yeah, I forgot. Even though they are technically my generics, they still do Musos and shit. It's great. Got him. Got him. guys over here trying to give some trouble trying to give some big trouble but yeah I was just I was staring at it. I was like all right I'm a pretty fast reader so how how quickly is this gonna how quick is this gonna go it was so I skimmed over it kind of it like I timed myself I was like yeah it's gonna be like two minutes this is pretty much gonna be roughly around two minutes if I read this and lo and behold, I think it was exactly like around that. So I was like, yeah, I'll just do gameplay. But I really wanted to just let you guys know, like, what? Uh oh, uh oh. I don't want to do anything crazy here, Imp Captain. That's Imperial. I just couldn't fit Imperial, so I had to put him. I kind of wish we didn't have like restrictions to like, like an uh, like a, a letter restriction, like only like 15 characters. Like, really? Probably a little bit more than that. I was doing it off the Xbox. Oh my god! I was doing it off the uh, like Xbox's character restriction. Like, oh, only like 15 or 16. Really? If they wanted to put my whole name in there and you, I couldn't do that, cool. Obviously, I wouldn't do that. Got some more little flubble over here. What are you doing over here trying to take my face? Uh oh, that's bad. Haha, <laughs> but you didn't turn around. You know what that means? You're dead. Goodbye. So long. Don't come back. My face! My face! Uh, so I still got another Muso, actually. So let's do this. hi -ya! All right, so I got Temper back, which is actually what I was kind of waiting on. So that's why I did that. But now we can do this. We can hopefully make our way over to the Commander as we do this. Obviously, with the power of Temper, we will gotta get there. Just gonna wait. Just keep waiting. Okay. Back to Temper. I mean, we're getting there. It's kind of taking a little longer than I thought. Kuno's not much on distance, apparently. I see the Imp General, though. We're getting to him. We're getting to him. Oh, we might be able to finish him off. Nope, he got away from it. Oh, oh wow, I can do that really quick. All right, let's just put him to sleep then. Generic looking ass. Get your ass out of here. All right, guys, so it gave me a great excuse to play as Kuno. I haven't touched Kuno in God knows how long. So it was really cool to be able to play her again, but... uh. All right, guys, so I was able to give a intro of, like, what this was going to be about. Uh, obviously, the title was probably let you guys know on that. But, uh, and then I gave you guys the backstory, and I decided to give you guys some action as well. So I think that worked out pretty well for a video. So actually, putting all that together, that'll be a pretty okay-length video. So that's what matters at the end. I try to make them at least over 10 minutes. So, all right, guys, with that being said, if you all enjoyed it, if you all enjoyed the backstory to the Warriors of Jigoku community name that I came up with, 
then uh, I know it was a little short and everything. It could trust me, it could have been a longer one, but I didn't want to like milk the entire thing. But I gave the most important parts in. That's that's why I did that. It was the most important parts, the origin of the country and everything and all that. So I decided to do that and just make it pretty brief. But uh, with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll say it one more time because I don't remember if I said it or not. Be sure to hit that like button if you all enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a comment down below as well. And we are trying to hit 500 subs. 500. The big 500 subs before summer. June 21st. We can do it. I believe. We're doing really good. You guys are crushing it so far. You crushed it in 2018. Let's see if you guys can crush it in half that time. You guys crushed it in a full year. Let's see if you can do it half the time. June 21st, I'll give it to you, the challenge. I don't know why I'm so hyped today, but you know what? I'm hyped as hell, so ended it on hype. Thank you all very much for watching this, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.